Hey everybody! I decided to do this look for you guys because I haven't really seen any tutorials on how to do a Katy Perry's hairstyle in ET. I would thought I would attempt to do this and obviously this is my first time doing this so um, it's not going to be perfect but I tried my hardest to get this look for you guys and I started like two weeks ago on this look and um, just slowly chipping at it because it is very tedious if you want to attempt to do this um, make sure you ha you give it like a whole day because it takes a long time to do exactly what I did I'm sure there are some modifications that you can change it up a little bit but this is basically what I saw these were all these are all braided uh, here these are ribbon here and then right here is braided too and then I um, basically just pinned them in my head I don't know if you can see the makeup on my cheeks whatever uh, I'm not going to do this makeup tutorial because um, I think Andrea's Choice has already done it. So this is a hair tutorial and this is not a tutorial showing you how to do cornrows which are in my hair right here all through my head. Those are cornrows. Um, it's not teaching you that. It's just teaching you what, how much space and what, how she kind of braided it. And I teach you how to do these things here which took me a long time to do. And I know they look a little bit I know they're a little bit orange. Um, I used a red spray. It was fluorescent red, so it, I guess it turned out orange because everything is red. If I were to do it over again, I would try to find some red hair. Look, at, I have it all over my nails. I would try to find some red hair and some red ribbon. That way it would match better. Um, but there was no way I was redoing it all after it, it ended up like this. So I just pinned these in my hair. It would probably e be easier if you sew them in your hair and uh, I mean you can always cut them out not your hair but cut the, the string out it would be it'd probably be a much easier because I tried to pin it in my hair and it's really hard because the braids are pretty thick cool. and it actually is staying up pretty well oh also I want to tell you if you wanted to take a wire and put a wire through it all so it stays more instead of kind of flopping around but I'll show you like a 360 of it So if you want to see how I did this look, then please keep watching. This is the type of hair I got. It's 613, which is usually like a bleach blonde, but it's not really even that um, light. And this is called 100% uh, Conecalon hair. It's basically, I don't know, it's kind of like plastic hair. It melts, it's, you know, it's not, um, and it's 60 inches long. Basically any type of hair would be fine like this. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like. See how it's folded at the top? You're going to want to keep it like that and then just cut this piece off, which is the elastic, which kind of gets stuck on everything. And you're going to want to keep the rest of it basically the way it is. Then you'll have something that looks like this, which is a really long, looks like strand of hair. I wouldn't use this hair to use as extensions or anything. First of all, this one is not even smooth texture. If you can see, it's like... um wavy so it's more meant for braiding and stuff like that take this hair and um, make sure that it's folded in half so as you can see there's a loop at the top and this wire is attached to it and it's open at the bottom and you're going to want to make sure that the the bottom is um, equal like even and you're going to want to attach it to something or have somebody hold it or something like that while you do a braid. So what you're going to do is I'm just going to put this bobby pin here because it's really small and I want something that has a really small end so it's not going to take too much um, space. And I should tell you the size, the amount of hair I'm taking is I'm just twisting it and basically this is the amount of hair I'm taking compared to my fingers it's like half of my finger width don't look at my um, terrible nails that I need to paint so I'm just gonna fold this in half and I'm just gonna kinda pin it into my sheet bedspread whatever just to give it some something to hold on to otherwise you can use like a pin or you know something like that and what you're going to want to do first before you start braiding is make sure you have a piece of the piece of wire that's cut and make sure it's cut just like probably like three inches longer 
than the pieces piece of hair that you're using. So what you do is you take the hair like this and then you take a little bit from the middle here and then a little bit from the middle here so it's like half. Basically you want the same width here as in the middle because we're making a braid as it is in the middle. So same width here as the same width here as the same width here. I'm going to start braiding it. So take the hair and just braid it over the middle, the two sections that we took apart. And again, braid it over. And you want to make sure you pull through all of the hair because it'll start braiding itself at the end and it'll get knotted, so. It's been getting knotted for me a lot. So start off a braid like that. So then you'll have your braid here, right? Like this. Okay, so since I started braiding it, I'm gonna take my wire and I'm just gonna slip it through into the braid. Then I'm gonna bend it over so it catches. And it's okay if it sticks up a little bit because we can always cut it off after or whatever we need to do. Then I'm going to continue to braid it, including the wire in my braiding. So just fold that over and see I have the wire included in this. Fold that over. Again. And just continue to braid this until you're all the way to the end of the braid. Before you finish the braid, you're just going to want to take the, the wire again and fold it over the bottom here and then continue your braid down. And then just put an elastic in it. This is just temporary to hold it because I'm doing all the braids first. So I'm just, I just braided it as far as I could braid because for some reason they get like uneven. Oh, and then you can take some wire cutters and cut it like that. And then you'll still have your bobby pin at the end or whatever you have to hold it. And then as you can see, it's like really super bendable and you can't see the wire in it. And then continue to do the rest of the braids. Okay, so now what I'm doing is taking this long piece of hair like I was showing you before. This is just the exact length of what the hair was. Um, so after you do all of your thicker pieces, we're gonna do with, we're gonna do thinner pieces because these are gonna be the ones that are underneath or at the bottom of the um, the bigger braids. So this one is gonna be thinner. It's not gonna be as thick. Just um, like half the size of the braids that we made and. What I'm going to do is, because they're going to be a lot shorter, um, because the way they are, they don't need to be as long. To save the hair, I'm just going to take this hair where it's already supposed to be in half, and then I'm going to just cut that right in half. So then I'll, now I'll have two pieces that are about this long. So they're just going to be exactly half, and then you fold this over and just braid over again with the um, the wire. So next you're gonna take some ribbon that's close to your hair color that you're using. Did I just say ribbon? No, I meant um, string. It's gonna be a little bit thicker than normal string because you're gonna wanna attach this piece of hair to this piece of hair. So this part is gonna be basically laying on the head right here. And so I'm just going to remove this bobby pin and I'm going to pin it, I'm going to not pin it, I'm going to sew it right about here. So it's about, I don't know, two inches from the end. Put it. So I'm going to put it probably about right here, the back end of it. And I'm just going to cut this end off here. So now you'll have something like this. So what I'm going to do now is take my... Um, this is actually for extensions, but I'm going to take it to melt this piece here. 
so that it, I could um, I don't have to have an elastic on it and what I'm gonna do is you can do this with a wire too if you fold a wire in half but I have this little tool that um, will pick up the the ribbon and or else you can use like a wire something like a leftover wire that you have and I'll show you how to do it both ways I just find it a little bit easier with this thing you want it to be a little bit longer than what you need because you want it to pull it through as I take this tool I leave it open and I push it through here then I take my ribbon and I just you might want to hold it a little bit closer to the end here and you close this there's a little clasp here hopefully you guys can see that and then I just pull it through I'll pull it through like this so then you have one side through and then you may want to make sure that's the same width on each side and then you're gonna do it again preferably since I did it on this side you're gonna want to do since I did it on this side you're gonna want to do maybe the other side so it kind of flips over but more at the end is so that the whole ribbon doesn't have to be bent when it goes through it so it doesn't get crinkled more see how it's only this end that kind of gets crinkled and then I just pull it tight just try to make it at least mount as noticeable as possible so if you don't have one of those tools which I'm assuming most people don't just use a, a, some extra wire that you had and fold it in half and fold it really pretty tight and then just take do this basically the same thing where you're just gonna pu push this through like that take a ribbon like this and then just pull it through like that and then do it the same thing on the other side once you have all your hair done like this um, you're going to want to cut these pieces really short just so uh, you you don't have to glue down as much and I find using a hot glue gun works the best for this so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to glue right here and you can just use the tip of the glue gun to t kind of press it down otherwise I just use my fingers to make sure that it kind of blends in flat and then so you have like a flat if you can see right here it's flat so you can't see it from the side where these ones are sticking out so the next step is you can do this if you want which um, my mom would probably appreciate it if I put this in the sink first um, is I'm just going to lay this down here and I'm gonna shake this up I got this at a dollar store it was two dollars and this one's just red, but it, I realized when I tried my first one that it came out more of like an orangey color, but it's okay. It depends what color you want it. See how it's like more like a pinky? It's hard to tell. Um, it depends what color you want to do your makeup, like what style, because she has her hair all different colors. I was just going to do like the red look that she has. So just take this and then just start spraying. And don't worry if it kind of gets places because it is, um, it's like a hairspray, so it does wipe off and stuff like that so now her hair is actually left like this part right here I could feel coolness it's actually left brown so it matches her hair so I'm just gonna do all of it because it's easier I'm gonna flip it in the other side it's all covered my parents are actually doing some work down here I mean my, my bedrooms in the basement so they have these things laid out but I just put a bag there so I can dry okay so basically I'm going to start about right looks like it's above her eyebrow so right here and just right over your ear because then the rest of the braid goes behind her ear it looks like so this is how much we'll be braiding right here and I'm going to take a tiny piece and usually with French braids you braid inwards with these braids we're going outwards which is look at my skin being pulled which is um, some people like to call it a Dutch braid but see how I'm going underneath the hair instead of over and then I'm going to take just take small sections of hair so 
So I'm just going to finish off this braid. Put my tiny elastic in it. I love these because they're clear, so they're not really noticeable. But that is our first braid. So the next part I'm going to do is, it looks like it starts pointy, it doesn't start like thicker. It starts in like a point, and then it goes wider. So I'm going to just do this about right here. And I'm going to pin the rest of my hair up. And that looks like this. So this one is going to go behind your ear. So start off with the point here. And then go all the way down. Yeah, this one pretty much goes just like all the way down like that. So, so I'm just going to do the same thing. And then you have something that looks like this. So this one's pointy again, but it goes more straight back, so, so that's pretty much straight. So this one's basically completely straight back. And you should have something that looks like that. I haven't even seen it from the back. So as you can see, I put a braid in it, but I didn't like it because I made it too thick. I think I'm going to have to add more braids than I anticipated, so I'm just going to do uh, another braid. I want a center braid to line up with my nose, and it could be thicker. That's like the thicker, the thickest one is the center braid, it looks like. So I'm just going to go this one straight back, right in the corner of my nose, basically. So this one can be a little bit thicker. Pretty straight down. You have to bear with me because this is the first time I've actually done braids all the way down my head. I usually can do them up to here, um, but I've never done them all the way down my head before so they might look a little bit messy. And continuing on so we're, I'm just following the same pattern as I did here like I did on this side on this side okay so now that I'm all braided it's gonna look like this I haven't even really looked at the back fully yet but anyways what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna start pinning these up in the back just so um, you can't see them so basically I'm just taking I'm just taking bobby pins and I'm going to take my braids and just pin them so then you'll have something that looks like that. So now I'm going to start attaching these to my head. So basically the first one's on the first braid here and I'm going to put this spot where we put the um, um, clip or whatever to hold it. That spot's going in the front. And I'm going to take a bobby pin. And you want to make sure it sits up on your head like that. And again, just pin it sideways. The back is not going to be as important. And there's my first one. So this one is going to be pulled from right here, so I'm just stick that right in my, behind my ear and pin this. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial because I was so excited to show you guys um, this look for Halloween and um, or maybe you want to wear it out normally who knows but I was really really excited so I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys later bye